when The Gap, I think, used that for an ad. And I said, I thought that was, I thought that was Yaz. The person said, that's the same writer. B -b 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 bing It made my head explode. I didn't know that. Now, I still haven't played, but I have played this. You know there are takeoffs on this? Did you know there are, they're called parodies, even though they're not really parodies, but they're saying parody to get around a free speech law. So it's not really a parody. It's kind of like dumb Starbucks. Do you know about dumb Starbucks? That show Nathan for you? And he wanted to open a Starbucks, but didn't want to have copyright infringement. So he called it dumb Starbucks, even though it used all of the Starbucks, Starbucks iconography, products, staff, everything. But he called it dumb Starbucks, so he was trying to see if he could get away with it. <clears throat> so this parody, this dumb wordle, is called Birdle, B-Y-R-D-L-E. And it has words that are all related to singing in a choir. It's, it's not just music. It's not just, you know, concert music, Baroque music, classical music. It's specifically things that any chorister would know. So it is a geek's paradise. And hard. I sent the link to someone who loves Wordle and was trying to communicate with her via text and she said, I'm still working on Birdle. This is hard. This is harder than Wordle. So it will have esoteric 16th or 17th century composers. It will have strange... Well, I don't know. I mean, I find it all-consuming, which is how Wordle is for a lot of people, a lot of whom are already choristers and, and music geeks, which is probably why Birdle came up. But then occasionally, something beautiful will happen, like I will put in my test word of tenor, because it has the T and the E and the N and the O, and the R. And it will say, yes, you got it. First try. So they'll have esoteric British composers, Flemish composers, and tenor. Birdle. Check it out. If you like Wordle, you might like Birdle. <laughs>